Outcome based education bridges the gap between academics and industry. It will be very interesting to hear about OBE from Dr. Mendes Jacob, an academician, entrepreneur, industry expert, and an evangelist of OBE. Let's listen to his words. My first experience with the outcome based education was when I worked in the M University. After my PhD, I started working in the School of Particle Mathematics in M University. We had a course there called the Master of Management Science. This course consists of management topics, mathematics topics, and computer application topics. So I was part of the uh, team which was designed this course. So in this course, whenever a student studies a particular topic, like uh, if they study statistics, uh, they have to do a survey, a practical survey. They have to go for a survey and conduct it. Then they have to analyze it. They have to compile the results. The same way, when the students study marketing management, they have to sell, sell a product, a concept or something like that. The practical sales they have to do. The same way, when they study uh, the computer applications or some topics of some language, programming language, they have to do a live project. So knowingly or unknowingly, OB was implemented there, even though the concept of OB was not there in India, because uh, you know in India, um, when the Prime Minister signed the Washington Accord in 2014, OB was implemented. So well before it, even years before it, we practiced it. My second experience with the outcome-based education was when we started uh, IPSR in 1999. So I resigned the job of uh, MG University. I was the director of School of Particle Mathematics at that time. We started the company called IPSR Solutions Limited in 1999. And uh, we have a training division along with the software development division. And the training division, students from uh, different colleges, after they pass out from that colleges, they used to join for the IT courses. And these students were not placed during the campus interviews. So they came out and they started their uh, studies related to some IT topics like uh, some programming language or uh, some students they join for uh, networking, cloud or uh, uh, some certification courses. So after you know going through these courses, all the students, they are placed in different companies and some of them in multinational companies after three months or six months training with us. So during this training program, we used to provide them with the uh, projects we have tasks and assignments which will develop their skills. And in that way, they can develop the employability skills. So during the, uh, the course, you know, during their studies, the colleges, the engineering colleges, they were not studying the, they are not, you know, developing the practical skills. That was a problem. And this is actually a problem with our education system. So slowly, when the concept of OB, outcome based education was introduced in the engineering colleges. Uh, slowly, this change is happening now. So, way before, you know, years before uh, implementing OB in the Indian education system, we at IPSR started the concept, implementing the concept. Again, knowingly or unknowingly, we are following the outcome based education. In that way, the students are getting benefited, they had to develop the, uh, uh, the skills. And uh, this is a uh, proper solution, or I can say that uh, this is the only solution by which we can make the students employable. Another interesting fact is that uh, at IPSR, the students joining the courses, uh, maybe uh, they are not uh, passed out students, you know, in the sense they had uh, many back purpose. Like uh, uh, there were students with uh, more than 40 back purpose. Uh, there are non-IT students, students from different uh, disciplines like uh, uh, students from BA Malayalam or uh, physiotherapy or from uh, mechanical background or from uh, economics background. All those students, they join IPSR and uh, when they undergo this type of training, the practical oriented training, they become employable and uh, they were all get placed. So the uh, what we are implementing here is the real the concept of outcome based education my third hands on experience with outcome based education is at marine college 
I am also the director of MCA program at Marine College Kutikanam Autonomous. From 2002 onwards, for the MCA program, we have introduced the OB approach. At that time, outcome-based education was not in India, but we have introduced the project-based learning. We have provided the students with the task and assignments, and the students are also doing some industrial certifications so that they will gain the practical knowledge. So after studying the theory, they are able to apply the theory in the real life situation when they join the IT companies. And all, all the students of the MCA program, they are very successful in their career. And many of them are placed in uh, multinational companies and they are working all over it in the world. When OB was officially introduced in Marine College for all the programs, uh, all the faculty members of the college were trained and uh, they are well versed in the concept. And we have published a book. And in the book, all the faculty members, they have their own articles recording the experience of each of them when they implemented OB in their departments. And this book is released by the Vice President of India. We have conducted faculty development programs for thousands of faculty members during the last three, four years. And we have identified the pain points while implementing outcome-based education. The faculty members, they have a lot of doubts regarding the design of outcomes, the mapping, then finally for calculating the attainment. Actually, it is not possible to calculate the attainment level manually. It is better to use a tool, an automation tool for calculating the attainment level. So we identified the pain points and we started developing an automation tool so that using this automation tool, we can calculate the attainment level. In addition to that, we can check whether the mapping is proper or not, or if you consider the program articulation matrix, whether the outcomes are mapped in the proper way. All this can be monitored by using this tool. Again, we can have n number of analytical reports. By using the data analytics tool, uh, we can have analytics. Like we can identify the slow learners, we can identify the moderate learners and advanced learners. The faculty can devise strategies for uh, uh, providing them with the suitable assignments or tasks. For example, for advanced learners, we can provide them with some challenging tasks. Whereas for the slow learners, the faculty can handhold them by providing them with the suitable tasks and assignments. Also, every student is unique. So we can identify the student diversity problems. In that way also, uh, we can deliver the course in a better way. The concept of assurance of learning can be implemented if we can use an automation tool. We can provide an assurance for each and every student who is joining in the institution so that they will achieve a particular attainment level. This tool will be helpful in monitoring and controlling all these things. And again for accreditation purpose, for example, if you consider the case of NAC accreditation, in every criteria, we can mention about OB and if we have some suitable analytics, we can mention about th these analytics in all the criteria, especially in the qualitative criteria. And for NBA accreditation also, this is purely based on the OB approach. So if you have this type of analytics, we can have the trend analysis of each of the batches. We can have the progression of the student in every semester, how the student is progressing. We can follow the, the each and every student. We can monitor their performance and all. In that way, at every time, at every point of time, the faculty can interfere and with the proper remedial measures, we can deliver the course in a better way. And also for assessments, after each and every assessments, 
we can calculate the attainment level so that we can see how it is progressing so using an automation tool uh, is the best way uh, to implement outcome based education as everybody knows the new education policy is in force so in future quality is the most word without quality uh, no education institution no higher education institution can survive so we should have a good accreditation score uh, uh, if it is a nb accreditation or nac accreditation whatever we do uh, we should have a good accreditation score at the same time uh, assurance of learning is another concept every institution should go for assurance of learning for all these things you know uh, for quality improvement definitely the faculty should be trained we have another tool called the question bank software where uh, the question ca- banks can be developed questions can be framed and uh, populated on the question bank and these questions are not just uh, you know uh, simple questions these questions will be mapped to the learning levels like the bloom stats on me level uh, or uh, levels like remember understand apply analysis evaluation creativity everything will be there so that each question will be mapped to each bloom stats on me level in that way we can improve the quality of the questions and also we can properly monitor the question papers uh, how the question paper is coming out so with this software tool it's possible that we can have the quality question papers uh, and it can be monitored also and these all these questions can be mapped to the bloom stats on me levels and also to each of the course outcomes so that mapping part will be done using the software and uh, this information will be brought to the uh, the ob tool so that each question should be mapped to the cos and ultimately when we calculate the attainment level uh, it will be easy for the software to do it for the last 22 years at ipsr we have mentored more than 1 lakh students into it and its careers we provided them with the practical training we provided them with the task and assignments live projects so that the students can perform well when they join an it company and we want to spread this message to all the students in india so for the last 4 5 years we are working with the higher education institutions we mentored many of the institutions we conducted faculty development programs throughout india almost uh, more than 10000 faculty members benefited out of these faculty development programs so in the coming 3 to 4 years we want to spread this message so that every student who are studying in the higher education institutions in india should benefit out of it because we think that outcome based education is the best tool to develop employability and the skills required for an industry so you want to carry this forward so that it should reach every corner of india